I made a table for my Chinese leather shoe, pat, shoe patcher. It is 12 inches long and 10 inches wide. Now, one of the things is that when you're sewing something that's fairly small, it is very difficult to hold it with one hand, or if you're sewing something flat, uh, to hold it with one hand and then to crank with your other hand. Um, I would suppose that this is probably even harder for people who are left-handed uh, because you're going to want to tend to crank that wheel with your dominant hand. I made this table using a shelf, a piece of shelving that is usually 24 inches wide, uh, long and 10 inches wide. So you can buy these at uh, any of your uh, stores like Lowe's, Home Depot, or even uh, I think I bought this one at Walmart. It was very, very cheap. It's like two bucks. And uh, you cut it in half because if you go any further, it's going to make it, uh, it's going to make it difficult to get in here and to crank and, uh, and to uh, you know, have it go all the way. I can't, I can only extend it. It might, I could maybe have extended it by one, one or two inches. But uh, now when you first take the shelf, uh, you have to turn it upside down or whichever side you want to have up and from underneath trace this onto your onto your shelf um, then when you cut it out you have to cut it out the full width of whatever the front of the platform is here because if you don't you won't be able to clear it when you're going on um, so then you have to keep this in place and then measure from your base to the bottom of that plate how high a piece of wood you need. I used uh, pieces of 2 by 4 and uh, first I cut them a little bit longer than what they needed to be. And then after that, I just uh, reduced uh, the uh, height. I trimmed it by a quarter of an inch at a time. Uh, I had a uh, stop block on my, uh, on my saw, so this way I can uh, make sure that all four pieces are gonna be exactly the same. Now, to actually attach to attach this, to the, to the table, at first I just use screws and put this down. Now this is a very, very tight fit. I made it a very tight fit so that this way the table is not going to move around on you. And uh, then to be able to get the table to attach, I used rails which I attached to the insides of the legs and I also put a crossbar front and back so that this way this will not move in or out so it's not going to have any wiggle or bind up or, or I'll get caught. Now to attach it I use screws with a washer welded to it so that this way it's got a wider width and uh, this way when you slide your table on uh, the aluminum portion the inside of the aluminum portion here will actually fit underneath this here will fit underneath the, this washer so so there you go so you put it on here align it first Here you see that part clearing. You 
you take and you slide your table on all the way. Now you see this is a very tight fit. This is a very tight fit. Um, I was going to make an attachment that uh, as soon as this uh, slides in, it'll clip in on this uh, spring activated. And here you see how the, uh, the table fits. Now, when you make this table, you want to make sure that your platform, your metal platform is a hair taller than your table. Because if it is not, then what's going to happen is As you sew, then the teeth on the bottom of your walking foot are going to brush up against this and it's going to, it's not going to sew. It's not going to advance your leather and, uh, and you're going to have a big problem with that. So make sure that this is slightly, this is slightly higher than this. You can see here it's almost, almost the same height, but it's just a tad, tad higher on the metal part. Here in the back, it doesn't make a difference because uh, it's not going to bind up your, your leather or any other material that you're sewing. Uh, sewing on this is going to be a lot easier than without the table on. Now, I don't use a table for everything because obviously, if you're going to sew inside of a shoe, you're gonna have to take this off and be able to slip your shoe in uh, to the arm and uh, be able to sew with the arm inside the shoe. Here's how much easier it is to sew using a table um, This way you don't have to support this and hold this in ways that is virtually impossible. So here you go. Here you see how nice the stitches are. I even went over it twice. Having this modification on your foot makes it a lot easier. You will be able to sew perfectly straight lines and never have any problems with this. So you'll be much, much happier with this. So we're going to see on the bottom which one it is because I have several lines. But uh, which one is it? It's this one right here. This is on the bottom. This is chrome tan leather. It is fairly thin, but uh, you can sew many, many layers with this. I was able to sew vetch tan leather, um, seven ounce leather, which uh, I did two. I did two layers with. Uh, you have to have a very, very sharp needle. I've uh, gone to larger needles because before that I was sewing like with a number 19 needle or a 20 needle. Now I try to use uh, 22 and 23 needles. So it'll make it a lot easier. It'll penetrate the leather better without breaking your needle. So uh, try that and you'll see it'll work a lot better. Thanks for watching. Bye.